uh, the real Beth Harmon would have never talked trash after losing a queen, but that's okay. I'm Gotham Chess, and I'm here with In The Know. So I learned chess when I was between five and six. Uh, my parents wanted to sign me up for some after-school programs, so they signed me up for chess and art. I ended up skipping art class and only playing chess, and I played my first chess tournament when I was seven, and I was playing chess kind of ever since. I've been teaching since like 2014, 15, and I've been streaming it and making YouTube videos full-time since June 2020. There was a big boom of it on Twitch. It was a lot of big gaming channels playing chess on chess.com, playing in a tournament. And that was kind of the first big push. And I just wanted to record like full on YouTube content. Uh, and I've just tried to be as consistent as possible. So one or two uploads every day for the past like four months to make it fun, exciting, and like easy to understand. And obviously once the Queen's Gambit came in October, I really just doubled down on that. I would say this, like pre-Queen's Gambit, the viewing audience on YouTube was over 98% male. Now with the Queen's Gambit, the female viewing audience has more than doubled. It's almost like four and a half percent. So technically it's almost tripled. It just wasn't cool to be a chess player, frankly. And we didn't have the same pull on social media. We needed something like the Queen's Gambit. I mean, we would have been good collaborating and getting other communities and creators to play. But I feel like, you know, you need luck to strike where there's opportunity or you need some sort of crossroads. So let me take you through my streaming setup. We start on the left side here, the base of operations, the desktop. Very powerful, although I can't speak about the specs because I had a friend help me put it together and I don't know a thing about computers. We move up here to the dual monitors. On the right side is where I have everything. My chat is open, it's all right there, and I don't capture it live on screen. The stream is on the left monitor. That's also where I play all of my chess, whatever my variants are, and if I need to edit anything, it happens on this side. We take a look further back at the desk, got basic speakers, basic keyboard, basic mouse, you don't need to invest a whole lot. Got the microphone, M Audio Uber. Not a lot of people have this microphone, it's like less than $200 and it's super, super easy to use and sounds really good, especially if you put on the right settings. Last but not least, we got this camera. And this camera is the Sony a6600, I put a lens on it, I've got an Elgato 4K cam link that connects it to the desktop that makes it possible to use it as a webcam, and you need a dummy battery, one that you can plug into an outlet, because otherwise the camera's gonna overheat and die. And honestly, that's basically it. It's really important to onboard people and make them feel like it's a steep learning curve, but if you're in like a good community and you have the right resources, you won't be put off uh, by it. I think there's a pretty big barrier to entry in kind of getting your footing and looking in the right places. So I try to make my channel kind of like that spot. Like they like the game, they like us, and they like the community. And the chess to them is secondary. It's you know what I mean? Like it, it's much more the community, like everybody's playing, everybody's like trying to learn here and there. No one's like getting into it because they want to become the world champion because that's not so practical. What? Okay, there is no way the Beth Har the real Beth Harmon would have played Queen D2. Come on. 